guys, this is Danielle at Next Generation Gym Owners. Welcome to this week's weekly tip. Today we are gonna talk about how to get through the holidays with a limited staff. Every time there is a holiday season, um, the majority of my staff actually heads back home for the holidays. Um, most of them are college students, some of them live in the dorms, and they aren't able to stay in the dorms over the holidays. And so we tend to have a very limited staff um, anytime the university is not in session. So here are three tips for making it through the holidays with a limited staff. Number one, switch over to shift work. So instead of having your coaches coach specific classes each week, they would work Thursdays from 4 p.m. to 8 p.m. This allows you a little bit of freedom to say, this coach needs to work on this class and this coach needs to work on this class for this week, but maybe next week somebody's gone and we need to adjust. While we like to keep classes as consistent as possible, sometimes that's necessary for your staffing. Number two, know that over the holidays, your attendance might be abnormally low anyway. So often you can operate with a little bit fewer staff. What we do um, between the weeks of Christmas and New Year's is we consolidate classes. So we'll take all of our beginner classes for the week and maybe we'll offer three beginner classes that week. And parents can sign up for whichever class they think um, would be most convenient within their schedule. So they don't have their regularly scheduled class. That also allows us to do our staffing based on how many kids are signed up to attend each class. So if you're able to consolidate, you can often operate your classes without having to cancel them, but with a very limited staff. Number three, spend your time now training the staff members that you might need between Christmas and New Year's. This is the time for us that's actually the hardest because we're often missing so many people. So maybe it's not just our college students who leave the dorms, um, but maybe it's also some of our other staff members who are going home for the holidays or going to visit family members or going on vacation. So if you can take that time now, a month out, to start training those staff members who may be fulfilling different roles, then you can feel confident that you're gonna have safe and productive classes over the holidays. So hopefully you guys found this helpful. I hope you are not in the position that we usually are where you're missing staff members over the holidays, but I know that a lot of you are. Make sure you head over to nextgenowners.com to check out our January 14th and 15th conference in Las Vegas. Thanks guys, have a great week.